so hello hello teacher hello hello how are you hello teacher fine Very well, and you? And you i'm pretty good and you class how is it going i can see edenilson hello edenilson <laughs> hello miss how are you I've never seen without your glasses. without my glasses. Really? Do I look different? Yes, you look different. Really? Like another teacher, yes. like a new teacher. So like this. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do I look different? Really? So really? you know, I really need my glasses. Me hacen falta con más que todo con la computadora, porque si no se cansa mucho la vista. Pero aquí estamos. I'm, I'm the same teacher, same teacher, right? I understand. <laughs> no uh, soy I, otra uh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot my glasses. Really? Today? Today. So. But uh, I can work without. You can. Without that. Or you can. Yes, I can. You can, yeah. But is glasses yeah in my case it's the same i can easily work without glasses but i feel that i need my glasses siento que los necesito i don't know it's part of my daily life right the same as gabby right hi gabby Jose, how are you today hi teacher how are you i'm fine you're fine thank you I'm yes. pretty good today. So let's wait for your classmates so we can start. Well, but you look nice without two for two. How do you say it? Like the, the like dos formas. Uh, both ways, ambas, both ways, ambas formas. Mm. Both ways. Both ways, exactly. Okay. Yes. Uh, you can uh, do the. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Cómo se dice la prueba? No sé. <laughs> prueba de qué. Puedes hacer la prueba como para ver qué dicen los demás compañeros. All Cuando right. Me Cuando me vean sin lentes, sí. pensaron, I'm not a new teacher. I'm the same teacher, you know. Lo notan, así como... The women <laughs> are more. Are more. Uh, how do you say? It? Uh -huh. eh, examinan las cosas, notan. <risa> ok, aquí nadie se salva. Observadoras. <risa> no even the teacher, the no se salva are. ni la teacher, right? Sí. Right, no, don't worry. Very good. If you see, yesterday we were practicing. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer estábamos practicando utilizando adjetivos? Cuando describimos a las personas, we use adjectives. ¿Cuál era la pregunta que hacíamos with the WH word? Tomemos ventaja de, de este tipo de ejercicios. Right. ¿Cómo hacíamos para preguntar cómo eran o cómo son tus compañeros? ¿Cómo es su teacher? Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What are your classmates like? Exactly. We use the expression or the WH word was and at the end, like. What is your teacher like right what is your classmate like so don't forget the expressions like like so i wish we can start with the class right now i already have eight students wow just on time very good job so let me show you today's class number class number four Simple present WH questions and time expressions. If you remember yesterday, we were practicing with WH questions and the verb to be, but now we are going to practice with the same structures, WH questions, but with some other verbs, right? And as well as time expressions. No solo nos vamos a quedar con el verb to be, Veamos qué tipo de oraciones o preguntas podemos hacer con otros verbos también. So, 
This is class number four. Here you have my name in case that you don't remember my name, right? Remember that as today is Thursday, for today, we need to have section number one and section number two over, complete. So we really need to take advantage of time. I can see Glenda as well. Welcome everyone. So, vámonos a la práctica ya. Let's go to practice right now. If you see in the platform, we have some videos, but you were telling me, teacher, some of the videos are not clear or the girl who is presenting the videos, she speaks very, with a very low voice. So please, if you have questions about the videos, you can ask me, teacher, can you repeat the information? Can you explain again? So you can have a clear idea about the vocabulary and the grammar structure. So if you see, we are already in section number two. Ya estamos en sección número dos. Y es como una continuidad de section number one. In this class, what do we have for this class? The same. Simple present, WH, questions and statements. Ayer les dije, ¿qué era un statement? What is an statement? Or what is a synonym for a statement? ¿Qué es un statement? Sentences. Mm -hmm. Sentences. So, we are going to make questions and affirmative and negative sentences. Statements abarca eso, afirmativas y negativas. So, statements. So, here we go. Vamos a ver el video y un par de ejemplos. Okay. okay let's go. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH Questions and Statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work. Take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word. I don't know if it's me or solo yo veo la pantalla negra. Ustedes también. Está negro. Yeah, right. I don't know why. Está oscura. <laughs> What's happening? Solo escucho, pero no veo lo que está explicando. So, I don't know if it's me, is it the platform, the video. So, I guess we're not going to be watching this type of videos. We better practice here together, right? So, if you notice, yesterday we were practicing WH words with the bird to be. Okay, where are you from? Where is your teacher from? How is? Okay, una WH word más el verbo to be, is, are, or am. 
But in this case, veamos cómo hacer siempre simple present statements, but with a different structure. So look, let's go. This is the same um, chart that we have with the type of information. Es lo mismo que tenemos en el video. Simple present WH questions and statements. So when we talk about simple present statements for affirmative, we really need to be careful with the verbs. Affirmative sentences with the third person. He, she, or it. Remember that we are going to add an S at the end of the verb. With the other subjects, we don't need to. No, no se olviden eso, solo para el afirmativo. He, she, or it, we need to add an S after the video. Pongámoslo así, add S. After the video, the verb. For example, if I have the verb work, for he, she, it, it's going to become works. If I have the verb take, for he, she, and it, it's going to become takes, right? This is only with he, she, and it, and the simple present affirmative. In the case that I want to make interrogative and negative sentences or statements, I am going to use auxiliaries. In this case, we have a verb, the verb do, but in this case, we are going to use this as an auxiliary, do or does for interrogative and for negative. For negative, look. Do not, or in the short form, don't. Or does not. Or in the short form, doesn't. So, eso es lo que tenemos que manejar para el simple present tense. ¿Qué es lo que voy a ocupar? Afirmative. Tengo que acordarme la S agregada al verbo. For the third person. He, she, and it. ¿Qué más tengo que acordarme? Para interrogative and negative. I need to use an auxiliary, in this case, do or does. Right. All right. Okay. Eso es lo que tienen que recordar. Si yo les digo simple present tense, todas estas reglas son las que debemos manejar. Pero esas reglas son para todos los demás verbos, a excepción de el verbo to be. Verb to be tiene sus propias reglas, su propia forma de generar, en este caso, preguntas y respuestas. Right. Para todos los demás verbos, I need to use this type of information auxiliaries and I need to add an S to the verb for the third person. Right. So let's look at the examples. Look at the examples that I have here. The same. I have questions with the WH words. So this is going to apply the same as yesterday. It depends on the WH word, like was and were, the type of information that I'm going to get. For example, if I ask you, what do you do? What? And the bird do. What do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Depende de la pregunta con la WH word, ese tipo de información obtengo. Look, do you remember this WH word? ¿Qué tipo de información obtengo con were? What type of information do I get using were? 
about a place. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Very good job. Look at the other example using the same WH word. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. If you see, we can also make questions using the third person. In this case, we have Amy, or we can also have a pronoun. Instead of saying Amy, we can say she. What does Amy do? She's a dancer. Where does Amy work or where does she work? She works at a dance company. She travels to. How does she like it? She loves it. She loves it. Right. So if you see, we have examples with the third person and with other type of pronouns. Bien, esa es la explicación. Questions about this. A veces quizás no queda tan claro o con solo explicar las reglas. Es mejor irnos a la práctica. Right. Questions about this exercise or this explanation. Pregunta, chicos. So if you don't have questions, I'm going to proceed with the exercises. Teacher, I want yes. a question. When I use uh, the verb go in addition, um, S, S, but in the, in the state is go S. Can you explain it? Okay. Do you refer to this one, to this question? Or in general? Ajá. Uh -huh. O en general, para usar el verbo go. Ajá, uh -huh. it's, it's not clear for me. Okay, but what is your question in a specific? I guess I didn't get it. Can, <laughs> can you repeat when that I again, it, please? When uh -huh. I use it, go, and the, the ruler said, uh, addition um, letter S. But, um, okay, okay, okay. But this case, uh, mm -hmm. I don't remember what I use. Go is is uh, E S, like this one. Uh -huh. Go and do. Ah, ¿por qué no solo S y por qué S? Is that the question? No. O cuando utilizo goes. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Vale, si se fijan, eh, les decía, vamos a utilizar este con verbos que no son el verb to be. So, la regla me dice agregar S, I know, S. La mayoría llevan S, pero hay unos verbos que también le llamamos like irregular verbs, que la regla dice, en este caso, si terminan en vocal, como take, if we have a bird who has a vowel at the end, we are just going to add S. Miren, esta regla sí la cumple. Si termina en vocal, solo le agregamos S. Pero si tenemos en este caso, look at the example, a verb with a Y at the end, con una Y al final, necesitamos cambiar esa estructura. We are going to use a start. We are going to replace Y for this vowel. And then, no podemos agregarle solo S, sino que necesitamos agregar ES cuando tenemos una Y. For example, miren este verbo, fly. ¿Cómo sería? Eh, para la tercera persona, el verbo fly, fly. Hagamos la misma regla, miren, Fly. reemplazamos y luego agregamos y es. Veamos otro, dry, secar. Same rule, look, reemplazamos y agregamos 
ES. Why? Because it has a letter Y at the end of the verb. En el caso, si termina en CH, SH, XX, cambiamos el verbo, teach. Miren, termina en vocal o en consonante. In a consonant. So, a if consonant. we have a consonant, we cannot do this. No solo le vamos a agregar ese, because it's a consonant. We need to have a vowel. So we can add S. Right, teach, teaches. Right, look at this other verb. Watch. Como ponemos este verbo para la tercera persona. Look, we write the same verb, pero como termina en consonante, watches. Right. Miren este otro verbo. Wash. Termina en consonante. ¿Qué necesito hacer? I write the verb and I'm going to add ES at the end. Watches. Ok. Dos tipos de ejemplo que terminamos con ES. ¿Por qué? Porque terminan en una consonante. Right. Solo los que terminan en vocal, agregamos S. Y tengo unos que se llaman irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. Verbos irregulares, así como en el pasado. Que cambia su forma de escritura. For example, the verb do. Aunque aquí también le aplique la regla. Termina en vocal. Miren. Agrego. Yes. Go. Goes. Y este que sí es un verbo irregular. Have. Ah, teacher, pero termina en E, en vocal. Entonces ahí puedo agregar ese. No, porque es un verbo irregular. It's going to change completely. So, in this case is has. Right? If you want, I can share a list of verbs in order for you to read the verbs and try to um, memorize or identify the root. Tratemos de memorizar la regla para la tercera persona. Así como lo hacemos en el pasado. ¿Se acuerdan que teníamos verbos regulares e irregulares en el pasado? También en el presente para la tercera persona los tenemos. Right. So... Vamos a tener eh, esta lista, se la voy a buscar. También tengo una, pero no en esta laptop. Por eso no se las comparto ahorita. Right. So, is that clear now? ¿Está claro ahorita cómo utilizamos la regla de la tercera persona? Yes or no? A little bit clear. Do you need more yes. examples? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good job. So, let me ask you. Let me ask you, same questions as the exercise. Same questions as the exercise, okay? Uh, let me see, Alberto, what do you do? What do you do for a living? What do you do? Uh, I am a customer service in importation. Okay, excellent. Gustavo, what do you do? Your microphone, please. What do you do? I do uh, support IT. Okay, okay. Really, very good job. Uh, Jorge, where do you work? Where I do work, you work? Mm -hmm. I work for the Cotrans. Ah, very good job. I am accounting. You are an accountant, right? Yeah. Ruth, where do you work? I where do you work? Mm -hmm. uh, Daco Trans. I work America. at very good job. How Edenilson, how do you like it? 
How do you like it? Do you like your work? How do you like it? I love my work. Very good job. Janita, what do you do? I am um, a customer in logistic transportation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Customer service representative. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Gabriela, what does Janira do? What does she do? Mm -hmm. We are talking about Janina. What does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? What does she do? I guess your microphone is not working, Gabby, right? I cannot hear you. No se te escucha, Gabby. Yeah, right. Okay, let's ask uh, Lorena. Tell me about Janira, Lorena. What does she do? She custom. She is a custom operation. ¿Cómo es? El departamento de operaciones. Okay, I like it. Or. Si se fijan, les estoy preguntando con el verbo do, ¿qué hace? Hacer. Okay. No con el verbo to be. Right. So, ¿cómo responderían? What does she do? ¿Qué hace? She have. Sería. No, she. Mm -hmm. Ay, ahí ya me perdí. Sería she do o she. No, ahí ayúdeme. Ok. Teacher, ahí help. Veamos los ejemplos. Veamos los ejemplos. What does Amy do? Miren acá, what does Amy do? She's a dancer, pero luego también podemos utilizar la segunda expresión. She, uh -huh. utilizando otro verbo, ya no el verbo to be. Uh -huh. uh. ¿Qué hace? ¿Alguna de las actividades que hará ella? ¿Tomar llamadas, responder correos? ¿Algo que hace? She works, podría ser. She works. Ah, también, muy bien. She works. Okay. She works. Um, Move, eh, como móvil movimiento de equipos. Eh. Ah, ok, ok. So, la idea es, she works. She no works. siempre vamos a responder con el verbo to be. Podemos utilizar otros verbos, ok. What does she do? Um, she takes call, she types emails, right? No solo she is, okay. ella es, porque estábamos mm -hmm. preguntando qué hace, do, el verbo hacer. Entonces, okay. más que todo ahí, preguntamos de qué actividades hace. ¿Ok? Para que vean que también podemos utilizar ese tipo de preguntas. What does she do? What does she do? Where do you work? Ok, very good. Is it clear that idea? Look, how does she like it? How does she like it? ¿Tanto te gusta? She loves it. Where do you go to school? Where do you go to work? I go to. And then we have those examples. So class, let's go pero, to the practice. Tell me. Pero, but we can respond with to be. Yes, the... it is. Exactly. You can use the verb to be, but if you see in this case, Vale, les dejo clara esa parte. Sí podemos responder con el verbo to be, pero en sí les estaba preguntando qué es o qué hace. Veamos mm -hmm. bien el verbo. What does she do? ¿Qué significa el verbo do? Hacer. Ah, sí. Me refiero a activities that she mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. En el caso que me dijo qué haces para vivir, ahí sí se puede, digamos, con to be. Veamos. Para vivir. ¿Qué ejemplo ah, es? Me, me dijo, what do you do for the um, living? Or for us? Mm -hmm. Ok, I what see. do you do? Vaya, but look. Miren la segunda parte de la respuesta. Look at the second part of the answer. 
I am a student, pero luego utilizamos también otro verbo. I have mm. a parting job, right? So, okay. no solo nos quedemos con el ver to be. Ver to be lo ocupamos ayer, right? Sí se puede utilizar, no es incorrecto, pero uh -huh. también enfoquémonos en utilizar otros verbos. Ok, teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. So, questions about this. Preguntas sobre esto. Questions about this. If not, I know we're going to have a lot of questions after this exercise. We are going to take from four to five minutes so you can discuss with your classmates about this exercise. Remember that this is a speaking practice. Lo que más me interesa es, tal vez no que lo escribamos, que lo redactemos, sino que speaking practice. Para que no nos enfoquemos tanto en escribir, sino en identificar y responder. That is my idea, right? So you can be able to identify. So let me send the exercise that we're going to have for today. We are going to be working in groups as well. WH words with the simple present tense. Okay, so here I go. Okay. Mm, it's taking a lot. Teacher. Yes. Yeah, tell me, I'm listening. Tenemos que te tener cuidado más que todo en las terceras personas para la, los verbos, ya sean irregulares o regulares. Para las respuestas. Sí. Yes. Sí, vamos ahorita Pero a... Pero el contexto depende. Depends on the context as well. Right. Ya vamos a practicar luego de este ejercicio, questions preguntas y negativas e interrogativas. So look, if you see, I have exercise number one and exercise number two. Ahí le llegó, creo, la picture to WhatsApp. Go and check, please. Exercise number one and exercise number two. If you see, let me show you the exercise. Okay, this is the one. Si se fijan, we have conversations, two types of conversations. Depende del tipo de statement, así vamos a utilizar el verbo. If we have a question, recuerden que el verbo no cambia porque el auxiliar no nos deja cambiarlo. But if we have affirmative sentences with the third person, there we are going to apply the rule. Right, so I want you to read Conversation number one in conversation number two and try to complete with the correct form of the verb. Is it clear what we are going to do? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer. Don't worry. Si no les queda eh, correcto o si tienen errores, aquí los corregimos. Okay. So let's go and work with groups right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's work in pairs in one group of three. Here we go. Share, sorry, I can't share está? Uh, yep. la pantalla. You cannot share. Ajá, pero ya, hoy ya se puede, no nos dejaba antes. Okay, don't worry. Go ahead and work. Thank you. Ahí está. Okay. 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 I have, I have good news, Mona. Ok. Tendríamos que ah, usar la tercera aquí, persona de have. Has, ajá. Uh -huh. 
Mona has a new job. Uh -huh. Vamos a ponerlo. Lo puedes escribir, Alberto. Sí, sí, ya ahorita lo vamos a escribir. Pero ver, es como que, ¿qué pasó? Es un chiquito. <ríe> es eso, es un chiquito. Eh, ¿Cómo es que le.? Ah, aquí es, espérame. Vaya. Ahí está. ¿Por qué no hacemos cada uno, vamos diciendo una para, para que los tres. Para que lo practiquemos. Ajá, ajá. Vaya. Has. Uh -huh. okay, ya, aquí lo puso Alberto. Ya, Ruth, sí, gracias. Vaya. How she like it. Ok. Si es presente. Si es presente, sí. Ajá. How is? How, no. Si es presente simple y estamos ah. trabajando con like, que es un otro verbo, tenemos que usar el auxiliar eh, do. do. Uh -huh. en How este does? Exacto. How does she likes? No, likes, no, porque el tercera persona lo está jalando el auxiliar do. En este caso tendríamos like. Que, like. Ajá, cabal. How does she like? Vaya, el, el otro que lo hago eso así. Vamos, José. Um, she does. She knows. Um, en este caso, uy, me no, sé, no sería she loves. She loves um, it. Está. She loves, exacto, porque ocupamos das, José, como loves. Loves, cuando es, es pregunta o negación. En este caso está afirmando. Mm. Uh -huh. She wow. loves it. It finishes. Uh -huh. Ese da. Finishes. Finishes. Uh -huh. At finishes. Fold. At fold. La siguiente. What is your toys? What do you what do you do? What do you what do you do? I'm a teacher. What do you teach? Pero dice que ¿Qué hace ella? ¿Cuál? No, entonces estamos en el dos. What do you teach? Está hablando el profesor. ¿Qué es lo que enseñas? Aquí sería. What, What do you teach? What? What? Espera, en la dos, ¿cómo te quedó? What? Do you? What do you do? La A. What do you do? What do you do? Uh -huh. I'm a teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. En la siguiente, la A. What do you teach? What? I teach Spanish and English. Teach. I am um, teach Spanish. No, I teach. I teach Spanish. Ese, ¿verdad? I teach. Mm -hmm. Hey, tengo duda por qué. No, ahí sería I teach. Ajá, porque nos está hablando de las terceras, ¿verdad? Ajá, no es tercera uh -huh. persona. Uh -huh. Really, my, la, la siguiente sí. My sister teaches English too. My sister teaches, teaches English too. English too. Oh, para ella. Las horas son geniales, dice, o sea, en la de arriba. Ya salió, creo. Teacher. 
Yes, I'm here. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, what she she loves is the hours are great in the literal e a e, e, she no. no what time b b okay conversation what number time? one or conversation number two conversation want, number one want what time mm -hmm. oh what time ah look this is a question so we need uh -huh. an auxiliary ah uh, okay no. what time does does she, she start she starts yeah okay starts. thank you teacher yes. you're welcome start. thank you teacher you're welcome thank you entonces sería das entonces que de os das sería ajá quedaría what time she does she 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 does how oh. oh, do you she she likes it she likes it she likes it okay <laughs> she likes Very good. Did you finish Gabby and Glenda? Yes, it should. you did. Very good. Okay. Before we go and check the answers, look. Veamos esto. Let me write an affirmative sentence. I have a new job. I have a new job. I have a new job. Right. ¿Cómo convierte esta oración? Pero quiero hablar de. Pongámosle Peter. Misma oración hablando de Peter. ¿Cómo haría yo esta oración? Hablando ahora de alguien más. Peter, make the sentence, please. Affirmative sentence. Peter, Peter has, has a new job. New job. Has. Very good. A new job. Okay. And I need to ask about Julia. Quiero preguntar si Julia también tiene un nuevo trabajo. How do I make the question? Julia. Has a new job. Mm -hmm. But it's a question, it's not a pregunta. Remember that for mm. questions, I need an auxiliary. Do mm. or does. Do, does, she, does. ¿Qué utilizo? Do or does? Does. Bien, so does. Subject. She, Julia. Julia does or Julia. she, okay. Does she is a new child. Is. No. Is a new job. What do you think, class? Does it make sense? Does or she have a new job? Very good job. Does she have a new job? Very good. Remember that when we want to make questions, as we already have an auxiliary, the verb is not going to change. Para preguntas, tengo un auxiliar, este no me permite cambiar el verbo. Right, vi por ahí algunos que utilizábamos has en una pregunta. No. Goes. No, tiene que ser el verbo 
sin cambiar. Why? Because I, I already have an auxiliary. Cosa contrario es cuando tengo una afirmación con tercera persona. En este caso es he. Peter has a new job. Right. Now let's go and check this exercise. Exercise that is about two conversations. Si se fijan, les incluí la explicación para que no olvidemos las reglas. Ya vamos a tener el último ejercicio de este tema. So let's complete the conversation. There we have the answers, but I want to listen these answers from you, coming from you. So let me see. Let's start with Gabriela, the first one. I have, I have good news. I have good news. Continue, please. Mm -hmm. Hola, hola. Okay, now, now we can hear you. Sorry. I have good I news. Have, mm -hmm. I have good news. Mona has a new job. That's okay. Mona has a new job. There we go. Mona has a good job. A new job. How? She, and then we have the bird like. Janina, please. Oh. Okay. Thank you, guys. Hi, teacher. Uh, how uh, does she like it? Mm -hmm. Remember that this is a question. Para preguntas que necesitamos un auxiliar. So, como tengo oh. la tercera persona es, does. How does. Bien, vamos bien. How does she, she like it? ¿Qué pasa con el verbo? The verb is not going to change. El verbo no cambia. So, how does she? Like it. Very good job. Glenda, continue. Is this an affirmative, negative, or interrogative statement? Mm -hmm. Is this affirmative, negative, or interrogative? Okay, quiero ver si lo, si das lo es. Affirmative. It's affirmative, muy bien. No hay signo de interrogación y no hay nada que diga algo negativo. So, it's affirmative. Is this third person or not? Yes. Yes. Ok, entonces, ¿qué pasa con la tercera persona? What's, what is going to happen with the verb? Le agregamos la S. Entonces, ¿cómo diría? She? She loves... She loves, no, perdón, she... Mm -hmm. Es que esa parte, pero... She does. Ok, no nos confundamos. Auxiliar solo se ocupa en negativo, interrogativo. Ok, esta no es she ni negativa ni... It. Exactly. She so, it. she loves it. There we go. Very good job. Next one. Next one. Let me have Ruth. What do we have then? Identifiquemos does, Ruth. Is, uh -huh. Okay, tell me. Does she starts. Why? ¿Por qué es así, Ruth? Starts. Mm -hmm. But Why? Star S. Ah, with S. ¿Qué piensa en clase? What do you think about this? Está preguntando. Ah. So, Ruth, es una pregunta, right? It's a sí. question. ¿Qué pasa cuando tenemos una pregunta? Es... Uh -huh. El verbo no cambia. No cambia. Entonces sería start o starts. Start. Bien, sin ese. ¿Por qué? Porque sí. el auxiliar no me deja modificarlo. So keep that on mind. Bien, esas son las respuestas que tienen que darse ustedes mismos. Very good job. Edenilson, go ahead and continue, please. <laughs> Hello. 
Is this an affirmative, no. negative, or interrogative statement? <laughs> affirmative. Okay, so go ahead, please. She starts at 10 and finishes at 4. Very good job. Finishes. Why? Because we have an affirmative statement. Very good job. Yes. Gustavo, continue with conversation number two. This one. Is this an affirmative, negative, or interrogative statement? What is this? Affirmative, negative, or interrogative? Gustavo. Interrogative. Okay, so what do we need to make a question? What? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué necesitamos para una pregunta? Un auxiliary. All right. Miren el sujeto que tenemos. ¿Qué auxiliar voy a usar? Do or does? What do you? Very good. So what do? And what is the verb? What do you? What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? In this question, we have an auxiliary and the verb do. Right. Coincidencia, ¿verdad? El auxiliar es igual que el verbo. What do you do? Very good job. Let me see, Jorge, continue, please. Is this an affirmative, negative, or interrogative statement, Jorge? Interrogative. Very good. So what do we need to make a question? What do you? Mm -hmm. What do you teach? What do you teach? Bien, do, and the verb is not going to change. Teach. Very good job. We are still missing two, two more. So let me have Samuel, please. Samuel, let's continue with Samuel. Is this an affirmative, negative, or interrogative statement? This one. Uh, sería, uh -huh. I teach Spanish and English. Pero sería interrogativo. ¿Qué no. tipo de ejemplo es esto? ¿Es afirmativo? ¿Vemos algún signo ah, de interrogación? Ah, muy bien. Afirmativo. Primera parte, afirmativo. ¿Cuál es nuestro sujeto, Samuel? What is the subject? Sujeto, ¿Quién es el sujeto? Mm, Aquí está, ¿eh? Yo. Uh -huh, yo. Ay, entonces, ¿cambia el verbo o no cambia con este sujeto? No, no, no entonces, cambia. Con, no cambia, solo con he, she, and it. Entonces, ¿cómo nos queda? I. I. Teach. Teach. Same, lo mismo, right? I teach Spanish and English. Very good job. Excellent. Ivania, can you finish, please, with the last exercise? My sister. Really? My sister teaches English, too. Okay, teaches. Why teaches and not teach? Because it's a third person. Very good job. Porque es tercera persona, pero no solo eso, porque es afirmativa. Esa sería la respuesta completa. Because it's affirmative and it is the third person. Right. So if you see, para todo hay una respuesta. Todo tiene su respuesta lógica. Right. So questions about this exercise. Comments about this exercise. Is confused. Okay. ¿Qué parte es la que nos confunde? What part? Questions o cuando tenemos que responder. ¿Qué parte es la más difícil? No me muevo al siguiente tema hasta que no aclaremos esto. Okay. Yes. What is your question? Let me know, please. 
¿Qué es lo que más nos cuesta? Yo puedo identificar que les cuesta el qué. La Aplicar tercera la personas. La tercera. Vaya, si se fijan qué pasos tomé yo. Uno, identify, identifiquen si es afirmativa, negativa o interrogativa. Primer paso, right. ¿Qué voy a hacer después? Identificar quién es mi sujeto. Si veo que el sujeto es una tercera persona, recuerden que ahí es que tengo que aplicar las reglas solo con la tercera persona. Right. Si veo que es una tercera persona, es afirmativo. ¿Qué va a pasar con el verbo? ¿Cambia o no cambia? Cambia. ¿Por qué? Porque es una tercera persona. Miren el segundo ejemplo. Es una pregunta. Para preguntas necesito un auxiliar. Pero como tengo también una tercera persona, she, ¿qué auxiliar voy a usar? ¿Do or does? Bien, das. Y el verbo en una pregunta no cambia porque ya tengo un auxiliar. Entonces resumamos esto que hemos visto. En simple words, en palabras simples, ¿qué tengo que hacer número uno? Identify the type of statement. ¿Qué me refiero a esto? Identificar el tipo de oración que tengo. ¿A qué se refiere? Si es afirmative, negative or interrogative. That is the first step. ¿Qué hago después? Si ya identifiqué. Si es, if I have he, she or it. ¿Qué va a pasar? For, afirmative, as, es, or, yes, to the verb. ¿Qué pasa si es interrogativa clase? ¿Qué necesito hacer? Usar, das. das. Y el verbo no cambia. The verb doesn't change. ¿Qué pasa si es negativa con la tercera persona? Negativa. Utilizo también el auxiliar does plus, plus not. Right. Esto es lo que tengo que cuidar. So, don't worry. I know this can be very confusing, very hard, but you know, it's not as difficult as you can see, right? So I motivate you to practice a lot the simple present tense. You know, let me send you this right now. Let's envío esto ahorita. Spelling rules. Tengan esa información ahí también. Y Vamos a dejar el tema de los, el segundo tema que teníamos para ahora, for Monday. Right, vamos a tomar un par de ejercicios también on Monday sobre la tercera persona. Porque este tema es bien importante. Si se fijan, vamos ahorita por pre-intermedio. Es un tema que vimos, creo que hace dos módulos. Right, so... Estamos repitiendo o reciclando información. Simple present tense. Es igual de importante que el simple past. Son dos estructuras que en inglés son las que más necesitamos manejar. Porque la mayoría de veces, si se fijan, hablamos o en presente o en pasado. As simple as that. That's why I really need you to go and practice, please. Y todas las preguntas que tengan siempre háganlas, por favor. 
So comments about this class. I know this was a little bit difficult today for you, but it's not impossible, right? We are going to have some other exercises on Monday. Comments, questions about this topic. Tienen un minuto para expresarlas. Comments. No comments. Class, come on, say something. We should be no more. check mm -hmm. the context of a statement. For okay, very good. So, solo les pregunto, para ustedes, ¿qué forma es más fácil de identificar gramática? ¿Viendo reglas o yéndonos a la práctica directamente? What is easier Viendo for reglas. You? Viendo reglas y luego la práctica. Yes. Both. Both, right? You know, porque para mí lo Both. más esencial es irnos a la práctica sin estar la práctica, aprendiendo pero sin reglas. A equivocar. Exactly. La práctica, pero nos vamos a equivocar una idea. Entonces, de, de antemano exactly. ya le Exactly. No, ¿saben que No hay que disculparse. No, ¿por qué? Porque ni yo soy perfecta. Yo sigo aprendiendo todavía. So, quizás. No, no nos sintamos culpables, me equivoqué, me estoy disculpando. No, ese es el proceso natural del aprendizaje. Error, corrección, practico, right. Por eso les digo, si tienen preguntas, háganlas. Make me know about the questions. Si no, no puedo ayudarlas a corregirlas. ¿Ok? Y lo que también me gusta que siempre ustedes sepan hacer es identificar por qué estoy dando esta respuesta. Si no identifico o si no justifico mi respuesta, mi cerebro no se va a acostumbrar a usar las reglas. ¿Ok? So, los dejo ahorita en una pausa hasta el lunes. Please, go check the platform, try to complete the exercises, and we are going to continue on Monday, right? Right, I teacher. really hope to tell me, Alberto. Can you send um, como las fórmulas de así de la... Eh, a mí siento que me ayudó como aquí va a auxiliar, aquí va a verbo, aquí va... Bien, ah, perfecto. Ajá. Creo que es una buena forma y ahí uno lo va cambiando dependiendo de lo que quiera decir. Vale, ahorita les envié la fórmula de el deletreo de los verbos con la tercera persona. Les voy a enviar también entonces cómo hacer interrogativas, negativas con la tercera persona y con los otros sujetos. Mm -hmm. Si les es útil, perfecto, ahorita lo tengo a mano. So, Let's... thank you class. I really hope you have a great weekend as well. See you Happy on Monday. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye. See you teacher. Bye. 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 See you on Monday. You have a great Bye. weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.